Chapter 10 Crystal Ship We found Beelzebub on the floor. He was out of it. Maz and I had to bring him back to the car. But before we even reached the door, I fell on my knees and couldn't get myself to stand up. Even in microgravity, Beelzebub and I were too heavy for Maz to carry. She had to call for help. The sun was setting on the far side when Wolf and Bear arrived. We needed to head back to the station soon. It gets very, very dark when there's no earth in the lunar sky. The ride back to the station felt long. The pain was killing me. I wished I wasn't conscious, just like Beelzebub. I closed my eyes to sleep it off. And before I drifted, I heard the scream of a butterfly. In my dream, it felt so nice. It lasted for about a minute. Then I woke up. Our ride suddenly stopped. We almost hit something. Wolf and Bear stepped out to check on it. It looked frozen. But then its arm was folded out. And it had something at the end of it.